Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I am out in Utah. So I'm right off the highway. Sorry, can't hold the camera. So I'm right here off the highway. This is the highway between, let those cars pass. This is the highway between Moab and Monticello. So Moab's back that way, Monticello's that way. And I'm here close to what's known as the Wilson Arch. This is an area that's been known where you can go pick up some agates. Uh, I'm going to start here in the wash below me. <laughs> Big truck. So yeah, I'm going to start in the wash below me. This is just kind of a starting point. It'd be nice to eventually find out exactly where all the agate's coming from. It's probably a layer that's either above that sandstone or right below it. I don't know. My first time out in this area, actually, to Rockhound. And I was just looking on the ground and I saw this. So that's an agate. It's not a very good one. It's got a pinkish color to it. But it is an agate. So hopefully we'll find more of that around here. So it's really easy access because you can just park right off the side of the road. That's why I decided to try here first. And then I got a couple areas that if I get any time today, maybe I'll go hit those as well. Anyway, here's the GPS to where I'm currently parked right off the road. Great. So yeah, I'm just gonna hike down in the wash and just see what I can find. So I just came down from my car. You got this small wash kind of working its way off the road. And immediately, yep, there's some agate. That's not good quality, but it is agate. And I'm seeing little pieces here and there. Okay, it's got a little bit more red pink to it. All right, I saw a little bit better one right here. Okay. All right, so there's definitely a fair amount of the stuff, but so far, not very great quality. A little further down, and yep, you can see a lot of it. It's kind of poking out here and there. One there, there's a bigger one there, there's one there, and there. It is low quality though. Well, 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 what do we have here? It looks like some rocks people have pulled out. So it looks like we might be right in the thick of things where the agate's actually coming out. Very interesting. Hmm, yeah, I can see a seam through there. Looks like somebody pulled this big one up. Yeah, that's a, that's a bunch of agate on it. Once again, it, it is low quality. I'm down in the wash, and you can see where people piled up their finds. <laughs> Put their agate here on the side. These are the ones they didn't want to keep. And then there's a whole bunch through here. So I'm going to go look through it. And if I see any good ones, I'll bring you back in. So I just pulled out of there this one. Get a little bit more transparency there. A little bit of a bluish color in a little bit of it. Huh. That one looks kind of nice. I might take that one. Maybe get it cut open. Hmm. Not sure, but definitely looks better than what I've seen so far. So yeah, there is a ton of it. The agate really is everywhere. But a lot of it is really low quality like this. This one looks a little better. It's got a little bit of red on the edge there. Okay, hmm, this one's all brecheated. Here's this piece here. Again, just not a lot of color, but definitely got some transparency in it. And this one looks maybe a little better. It's got a little bit more color in it. Very fractured though. Okay. I wonder if there's any good nodules that would be fun to cut open. Whoa. Well, look at that. The color in that one's a lot better. Kind of a red orange. Okay, so there's some potential out here. Here's this one that cut open. Okay, a little bit more going on in that. Some colors and patterns. Nice. Now this one has some blue color in it and black. Yeah, I think I should take and cut that one too. Okay, getting some more variety now. Here's this one cut open. Oh yeah, I like that dark in the middle. wonder if that might be a little bit of calcite in there. Might just be quartz still, but a darker color. Just found this one. Yeah, somebody lost their happy birthday balloon. This one looks like it might have more color. Let's spray this one off. Here it is. Okay, a lot of them kind of have this pink fleshy color. Very common, it seems, out here. Just pulled this one out and spread it off. 
definitely has more of a red color. Okay, it's getting better. It's getting better. So there is just a ton of it really close to the road, all through the wash and even on the hillsides. So if you come out here, it's really accessible. That's really nice. Now, I'm guessing, though, that most of the really good stuff, if there is really good stuff here, is going to be harder to find close to the road because of this is a known place and lots of people have been out here. So I'm going to go ahead and start heading further away to see if I can find some higher quality stuff that maybe gives us a better idea of what you can really find out here. It is everywhere. It is so thick through here, just so much. You could go in any direction from the road and you'll find some good stuff. This has a little bit more of an orange right there. That's kind of nice. Still very fractured though. Just found this one. Well, it doesn't look that great color-wise. It might have some interesting patterns there if I cut it right. So maybe we'll take that and try and cut in a way that it might look nice. Just found that. That looks interesting. Hmm. This one looks interesting. Oh yeah. A little bit more color in that one. Cool. That one uh, might be fun cutting. We'll give it a try. Here's this one cut open. Huh. Looks a little better on the inside. It's pretty much what you can see from the outside. Kind of cool. Here's this one cut open. Fractured on this side. About what I thought. Pretty much looks like the front. <laughs> it is nice though. This is a nicer piece. Just found this larger one. It's got some better red in it. Yeah, I didn't go much further than where I was and I'm already finding a lot better stuff. Yeah, so there probably is some good quality stuff out here. Just need to walk far enough. Just found some more blue. Nice. That's a big one too. <laughs> good to have the blue out here too. Yeah, this is this is getting a lot better. All right, I pried a few of them out to take a closer look. So first that big one that was nice and blue. That's a chunk. It's a chunk of agate. This one was interesting. That one. Cool. And there you can kind of see some of the formation. There's the rock that it's forming in. Cool. It's making these nodule shapes. And this one looked interesting there. Ooh. That looks cool there. Let me spray that part of it off. Yeah, it's kind of got a grayish dark grayish color to it and you can kind of see into it a little bit okay i'm seeing a bunch of interesting ones all close to each other this one huh okay cool this one look that's a lot darker <laughs> that's pretty solid let me get that out a little bit of red on that side very dark through that one cool and then this one, look at that. Then over here, and there. This stuff really is everywhere here. This one is a nice red stripe with white going through it. Cool. I see something just barely poking up that might be nice. Let's uh, pop that out and see if it is. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's just okay. Just saw this. That's got some nice red. Yeah, it's a little better red than I've been seeing. Okay. Look at that. It's got a nice little edge to it. Here's a really orange one. <laughs> kind of, I like the look of that one. Again, it's one of those darker ones. It's kind of a bluish gray. Let's get that out. There it comes. Ooh, yeah, look on the ends. Look at that one. That one I think it's worth cutting into. Cool. So I've walked down a ways and I've just seen so much. I kind of stopped filming because you just kind of see mostly the same stuff over and over. This one, however, a little bit better, a little bit more color to it than most of the ones here. So good to see that. But it, it is really, really everywhere. So it, it is actually a great place to bring kids and families because... 
you can't miss it. <laughs> it's everywhere. Yeah, that one's kind of orange. Nice. Okay, now this one's a little bit more on a different level. You can see the yellows and reds and some purple in there. This is more like what you see over on the San Rafael Swell area with the better quality agates. So there are some better ones out here. Good to be seeing that. Here's this one cut open. I had high hopes for this one. It fractured and there were a lot of fractures going through this one. Pretty much looks like it does on the outside. Mm, it's just okay. That's a big piece. <laughs> Look at that. And that's a boulder. <laughs> There's a lot and sometimes they get big. Ooh. I see something better color down here though. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit better color. A little darker here. Yeah, that's better looking. Okay, that's darker. It's more like a red jasper there. Hmm. That might be worth taking home and at least cutting just to see. Here's another decent piece. It's got some of that red in there. Getting more toward the quality of the stuff you find further north. Up by, you know, Yellow Cat and the San Rafael Swell. And here we got power lines and where the highway used to be a long time ago. The old highway. Now look at that. That might be some private property over there. Cool. Yeah, let's just check this old road out. <laughs> Yeah, that's muddy down there. <laughs> you guys probably can't see it, it's probably too dark, but it's muddy down in there. Might get difficult trying to go down further. <laughs> yeah, turns into almost a slot canyon. Yeah, that might be challenging going down. Just following the old highway. It's nice to stop and appreciate the beauty every now and then of the the country here with <laughs> fun red rock canyons. Wonder how many people even actually come out this way and see this. There's the highway right there. Not far. All right, let's go check these hills. So I wandered over there, didn't really find anything. Decided to come over on this side. Also not really finding anything. So unfortunately it's kind of what I thought maybe the agate's coming from further up mostly with maybe some places where it comes out anyway so that's where i parked walked through that wash and found all that stuff in that very short stretch haven't checked up that way yet but i'm kind of intrigued by this smaller wash coming off from over there all right found a spot that's coming out see all that right over the top right there it's all coming out right through here so you got this layer of sandstone and probably mixed with mudstones and it's coming out through here that one's kind of got a cool pattern on it cool we'll uh search this area it's like an agate graveyard <laughs> it really feels like that just right off of that smaller wash the main highway is just right up there i'm parked over on the other side of that hill i think this might be a really good spot right here this is where it's coming out Probably hasn't been hit as hard as over there. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at this stuff. Now this dark one's intriguing. On the side, I see some red. Huh. Huh. I don't know. That might be worth trying to cut. Can't tell though. Huh. Look at that. <laughs> now that is really cool. I like that one too. Just that part of it, that, that surface. Here's this one washed off. It is interesting. A lot of these out here, they the colors aren't that great. Quite often they don't have banding. This does seem to have a little bit in it. But they're still pretty interesting pieces. Just found this little one. It's got some nice intense red right there. Yep, you can find these little gems among the everything else. I like this. It's darker. You got kind of black on the outside. 
wonder if I cut it, can we get some interesting patterns? Here's this one cut open. Definitely looks like it's gonna be kind of clear on the inside, you know, translucent. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe expose a little bit of possibly pluming going on up there. Otherwise, it's just basically colorless Chalcedony. <laughs> so I grabbed one of these darker ones and broke it. And I think these darker ones do give the better patterns and colors. So maybe from the outside, focus on the darker colored ones. Maybe those are better. This one has some cool inclusions in it. Look at that. Hmm, maybe you need to cut deeper into that one too. So here's another one of those darker ones and I flipped it over and look at that. Right there. It's kind of clear. You can see into it a fair distance. Cool. Yeah, I'm thinking these darker ones tend to be higher higher quality than the other ones. They're more the white. Here's this one washed off. Don't know. Further in, it's probably just going to look like a lot of the stuff we've already seen and gone over, but who knows? Eventually, I'll have to get, a, get it cut. I just, I don't have anything big enough to cut these. Maybe Eric will get some of these cut for me. For this video, I'm not going to have these big ones cut. I'll have to do that in another video, a later video. I'm sorry I keep doing that to you guys. Cut them in later videos. <laughs> but we'll get there. So we have this neat spot where it's coming out. And then it kind of seems to disappear. I don't see anything. So I wonder if it comes in pods. Like it just, there's a zone where it comes up, where it found a way up. And it's not just throughout the entire layer. So it has to, it just comes and goes maybe. So I'm going to hike over that way a ways and just see if I see anything. And then probably head back that way, getting back toward the car. So there's this zone where it's all coming out. And when I look over that way, I don't really see any. So I guess it's not just a layer of it. It probably came up in little spots. So maybe you just have to kind of find a spot where it's coming out. Hmm. Very interesting. So I'm going to head over that way and hike away and just see if I see another zone like this. And then if not, I'll probably hike back that way toward the car. And we'll kind of figure this out, area out a little bit more. Okay, so I was just over there, came up and over, and we see some more. Definitely not nearly the quantities I saw over there. So it does kind of come and go, but it does kind of seem to be following its layers, so it might just keep going off in that direction for those who might want to come out and explore a little more. Cool. So we got this interesting one right here. This seems to be a kind of a common thing out here, this being kind of some of the better looking stuff, kind of having this color pattern and look to it. Here's this one cut open. Okay, about what I thought, very clear on the inside. A little bit of plumage going on, just a tiny bit. Here's this one cut open. Once again, what I thought, a little better on the inside. There's quite a few out here that kind of have this look to them these colors and patterns. Here's this one cut open. Okay, not a lot going on in there. <laughs> it's interesting though. Here's this one cut open. Get fractured right there. Oh, hey look at that red dot in there. That's cool. It's got a lot of inclusions in this one. This is cool. I like this one. Much, much better than a lot of stuff I saw there. So more like that. And I'm on my way back to the car, which is right there. <laughs> so, this is an interesting area. Um, personally, the quality of the agate isn't such that I would make a trip out of this. I would just recommend going to Yellow Cat or to that area south of Green River or over to the San Rafael Swell. Those agates tend to be better. But if you're on your way somewhere else, Let's say you're traveling down to New Mexico or whatever. If you're on your way, this I do highly recommend stopping at. It is worth taking a quick break because it's so easy, it's so accessible, and there's so much stuff. Most of it's low quality, but there are some hidden gems. And who knows what else is out there? Because that was it is a layer that you kind of follow and places it gets thicker and thinner. And who knows, you follow it for ways, maybe the quality of the agate will change. Maybe you can find some gem out there that's better than what I found today. Anyway, 
until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.